Hello everyone on YouTube. Today I'm gonna take take you into a take you into a different air, way of rock cruise. This place is called Wildwood, New Jersey, which is like by far the best piers in um, in America. You can see here it's always uh, always busy here. This is way now Wildwood is by far the most amazing thing imaginable. This is way before theme parks decide to come in. I'm gonna give you like three, four different types of water crews. First three will be, be all three piers, and for the last pier, pier it's gonna be um, last part it's gonna be more of a, of a complete montage of pictures from the, the entire boardwalk. They do have arcades, but I'm I'm a little pressed for time as right now, so I'm gonna take as many pictures from arcades as I could. So I think we'll get started right here with the main pier, in, which is Morley. You can see by the big ass sign how it looks. And as you can see, there's like multiple midway games they have have around, like owning and and uh, food. They got an arcade right over there, but I'm gonna take pictures and not the um and not the entire thing. This place is pretty unique, depending on. The red dot is right the center of the table. Of course, they got here the classic merry-go-round for the kids. A few of these games are mostly kid-based. It's a good area for the entire place. You got the um, you got all the spinning rides and uh, whether it be cars or planes. There's the Jack and Box uh, bouncer, and of course this kite thing. I think I've seen this before in uh, Luna Park in Coney Island. As a matter of fact, I think I saw plenty more of those than in any in other areas. Of course, back there is the uh, Adventure Pier. You can see it's already closed at the moment. It's not going to be opening until four, so um, I think it's a good idea I start. Um, with the main pier here, then go to the next tier, and, the, and this pier over here will be the last. Well, we'll see what happens. Of course, they got the convoy with the tr little trucks. And, of course, any pier ride won't be complete without Moby Dick. The uh, extremely up and down ride. Of course, we got more midway games. Swing ride. Never get tired of being uh, spinning around in a swing. Er swings, that's sure. Oh, it's double one. Right there is something called Wildwood by the Sea. I think it's one of those uh, aggressive type rides. Very, very crazy. You got the fastball, bait. I think it's pitching. No, we're not pitching, batting. And of course, they got riptide, or basically a chip that goes up and down and up and down until, well, let's just say it's not going to be easy to get through. It goes completely upside down if you think about it. And of course, up here is their prime attraction, their infamous Ferris wheel. Very incredible, no matter how it looks. And of course, right back there is their little um, water park. Welcome to Raging Waters, that's how they say it. Sorry. I would like to show you the water park itself, but uh, you're not allowed unless you have a swimsuit. And unfortunately, I don't have much of swimsuits. But as you can see, it's very, very unique. You might have to check it out later on. Of course, we got seashells right there, spinning seashells to the world. Oh, this, this place, this place is pretty impressive. Now, this is what they call this is this is their latest haunted attraction called Ghost Ship, which is by far a pretty impressive yet pretty innovative thing. It used to be like an old miniature golf course, but since they, um, 
but but then they decided to rent renovate and turn into a haunted attraction which I gotta admit pretty amazing no matter how it looks very fun now believe it or not these had a haunted attraction called um, Castle Dracula which was which was a uh, summer back, back in the day and unfortunately in 2002 there was a fire that two kids kind of bust in and and torch place, at least that's what I can understand in YouTube videos. So it's kind of sad how, how it went. But at least we finally got a chance to um, have a ship, have a, have a new haunted attraction. I think there's another haunted attraction they've added. So, yeah. We'll see what, ha see what happens, okay? Let's move on. Let's move on ahead. I think this is one of those kid roller coasters that even adults get to have fun in. Why was this called anyway? It doesn't have a name. Normally it could, would have been Crazy Mouse, depending. But anyway, it's very, very fun and innovative. Got more um, midway games. Oh, this place here. This is called the Sea Serpent, which is in a very aggressive up and roller coaster. And and the best part is, once you go, here's like the, the long run. Once you go forward, you go back, you go stop right there, but then um, you decide to ride the roller coaster backwards. They're really, really fun. Definite recommendation. We got Music Express, Ultimate Spinning Ride. And this here is like, a, like an up and down bus area. Crazy bus. Oh, this one's pretty impressive. This one's called uh, Pirates of Wildwood. Nothing related to Pirates of the Caribbean, let me tell you. But uh, very, very, very creative. Basically, you just go on a little boat ride, and it gets you uh, through through uh, Wildwood if it's infested by pirates. It's very, very impressive, no matter how it looks. Very. Very fun and, cr and crazy. Uh, though it is a little bit of a short ride, it, the inside is very innovative, depending. Okay, let's see. I think we're almost done. We got um, like crazy teacups. Not like the Mad Hatter teacups, but teacups nonetheless. And then we got um, bumper cars for the big kids and bumper cars for the little ones. And then we got this thing here, like a climbing ride. I don't really know what that's about. And this here is like a boat ride. For the kids. And I think that's pretty much it. Just looking at, at a few more things. I think back there is like a balloon ferris wheel. And then right here is like a little thing set for the kids. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it within the area. Well, I think that's one pier down, two more to go. I think it's it's high time we get high time we get started with this with the second and third pier. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next um, second part of the Wildwood experience. Let me just back up and uh, show you the sign. There we go. So I guess that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for more videos.